Good morning. Where do you all see America in five years? All right. This is Mike from the Retirement Train Straight Talk, where I give you the simple truth every day in every video from my perspective. All right. It's about 7, 7.15 a.m. here in Bernie, Texas. Um, been really busy for the last five days, and I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. But first, as I mentioned on the title of this video, where do you all see America in five years? Now, as you all know, I'm a conservative, simple as that. I've talked about that several times. And I just have to say I'm going to focus more on straight talk now because, well, quite frankly, I mentioned I was going to give this channel up at the end of this month. And so I might, I might not. We'll see how this new trend goes of what I'm trying to talk about. Because it's all part of retirement. It affects your retirement, my retirement, your grandchildren's retirement, and your children's retirement, right? So, unless you've all been living underneath the rock, you all must know what's going on with this administration. Uh, the poll numbers are in the tank. They're in the high 30s and 40s, pretty low. You got an ex-president who's got 90-something counts against him, going to court every day, still doing what he has to do. And not that I'm a staunch Trump supporter. I'm not saying that. Um, I didn't mind the man as a person. It was just his delivery and how he dealt with things that kind of bothered a lot of people. I did agree with a lot of his policies. I did. I think America was a lot better off. If you all don't like that, I get it. It's my channel. You can move on. But here it is. Here are the facts and here's a straight talk. Unless you've been living under a rock, no one here can say that America's better off than it was four years ago. I can't see any stat that says anything has gotten better. Look around. Look what you see on the news. Two wars on the front, right? Inflation ticking up. We had a great report. Stock market's doing as well as it can with inflation moving forward. That's going to force the numbers to come back down. As you said, as you probably saw by yesterday's stock market results, right? Number one uh, stock pick has been NVIDIA. I've got the stock. It's interesting stock. Um, it's done well. It surpassed expectations by light years, right? Still, the market went down because of inflation. And, of course, the Fed talking doesn't help things, right? But in general, excuse me. Got to have the coffee. But in general, America is not better off than it was four years ago. If you think it was, put your comments down below. I, I got my big boy pants on. I can take it. Just state the facts. I don't want this to turn into a political channel. However, comma, I get to state my feelings as well. And since it's my channel, it affects my retirement. Now, all that being said, I do got a great retirement. I've been busy. Just got back from Hawaii, as you all know. But at the same time, I'm looking at the future and how COLA and um, high inflation affects the stock market for you guys getting ready to roll here in the next five, 10 years in retirement. If you're in your 40s and they don't decide to do something quick with Social Security, I think you're all going to see some changes to that. It never will go away, but there will be either means testing of some sort, right? Or they'll do something in the sense of more taxes, uh, maybe reduce things by 10, 15%. I truly don't believe folks that already get it in their 60s, living on it and depending on Social Security, will have that much effect on those people. But if you're a person who's still in their 40s, things can change. So just be prepared for that. Have an understanding. Uh, and understand that you probably can't rely on the full thought of what you thought you were going to. I should let me put that. Let me phrase that right. You really can't think that you may be getting your full Social Security as it is in the state of today. I don't know. It might not change. To me, it's a simple fix, but I'm not in politics. I'm just saying things don't look as good as they did five years ago for several reasons. We have an administration who's, who's damn centered on letting a lot of illegal immigrants come to this country. I don't care how you 
you slice it, how you want to talk about it. They're coming in in groves. We're talking 10, 15 million people now. Unbelievable what I see. And I'm about two and a half hours from Eagle Pass, three hours or so, maybe. And um, we don't have a problem in my neighborhood because it's an upper end area. But I tell you what, around the country, everybody's a border state now. And you all see it. Um, people are trying to hide it. Um, some folks on the news are not mentioning it for several reasons, obviously. We have a president who has a hard time functioning right now. I watched it, and, and I see him all the time. So I watched my father go through this, so I know what I see, and I know the reactions, and I know the symptoms. Something's going on there. I'm not a doctor, obviously, or I'm not a financial advisor, all the above. I'm just talking on my channel how I feel, because I can, what I do. So what does this mean for you in retirement? I like to wrap it all back around to retirement. Well... I've changed my view on, on a few things here, and that is a lot of folks might not be able to retire fully at 62 or 65. You may have to go back to work part-time. You know, again, not a bad deal. Get a non-stressful gig, right? Something that you can do four or five hours a day, or maybe it's a, I don't know, if you're still healthy and you still want to do those things. Maybe it's eight hours a day. I don't know, but I do know this. If the economy keeps going the way it is and pensions start falling off uh, the earth in the sense, right? Pensions will start going away. It's a fact. Maybe it's only 15 or 20% of companies today nationwide that still have a pension. That's your state and federal organizations most likely. And they're dwindling down now. I know my federal pension was you know, it's not very good at all. It's 1% of your high three. That's what you get. If you stay past 20 years, you might get 1.1%. That ain't good of your high three times how many years that you actually do. So you really got to do some time, 40, 35, 40 years to really make a difference and make some money there. So like in my case, after a 20, you know, 27, excuse me, 26 year career in the military, getting out working for federal government, you probably can only do 20 years before you're 62, right? And that's probably the max you're going to get. And if you do that, your pension is not that well, unless you're a GS-15 or an SES status, flag officer status. Other than that, it's not good. A lot of state positions have a lot better pension plans. I'm just saying. State and county or city, whatever it is. So anyway... The pension plans are falling off the earth. So what, what are you relying on? Well, you're hoping your, your company can give you a 401k and match it nicely, right? Now, what you do with that 401k and that match is very, very important. So if you're not at least putting in, if, if you're getting... 3%, 6%, and matching up to that, you're never going to be able to retire satisfactorily. You're not going to be able to do it. You're going to want to um, at least match. I rec oh, I don't recommend anything. I, I would, let's put it that way before I get myself in trouble. I would do at least 15% if I'm in my 30s and 40s. I'm ramping up to 20, 25% in my 50s and early 60s. If, if I wanted to retire at 62. So for my last 10 years, I'm probably going to be putting in 20, 20, if all possible, 20, 25%. And if not, I'm working part-time. I'm working part-time to make up that difference. That's what I did, even on active duty, on shore duty. Every, uh, um, every opportunity I had to work part-time, that's what I did. Because I wanted to have a max retirement, enjoy my time. Was I tired after my duty? Yeah, I was tired. Very, very tired, but I did it. You young folks coming up today, you might want to light a fire underneath you and get out there and get a second, third job, whatever it takes. Because, and I feel sorry for y'all because I see the state of the union right now and it's ugly, y'all. And if we don't change out this administration, in my opinion, 
we're going to see a lot more downfalls. If we do another four more years of, the, of this administration, I don't know what's going to happen to this country. This country, will, you, you will not recognize what you see even today in four years. I'm just saying. That's just my opinion. And I got a right to it. So anyway, enough squabbling about that and bitching about it. But here's the deal. I didn't serve my country for no reason. I served it for a purpose. All right. I hate to see what's happening today, even in our armed forces, how we're bending and towering to society. Okay. The armed forces was a special group of elite men and women who served their country to make it a better place, to give us and all of us the freedoms that we deserve today. And I hope we can continue doing that without um, bending and kowtowing to different ideologies on the outside. The military is a unique force. Their job is to maintain stability throughout the world. Simple as that. We, kick, we take our orders from, from the commander-in-chief and, boy, it, if we got to do that on what I see now, I'm not sure who's in charge today. All right, enough about that. Another big uh, announcement, I guess. Well, I told you I, I bought the truck. You saw it. I dressed it up. Well, I'm in the process now of, of buying a travel trailer. Yeah, I mentioned I was going to get one. I figured I'd get one now at the end of the month before the 2025s come out. So I bought a 2024 um, Alliance Delta 252RL. I bought the RL instead of the RB, a little different, um, because my wife liked the fireplace in the front. Storage is nice. It's getting um, all dolled up now, getting the extra things that I wanted on it. Uh, to make it more, you know, enjoyable and easier in case I got to go out there by myself. Like, I'm, I'm going to do what we call a shakedown cruise here uh, in about a month or so before my granddaughter comes out. So I might want to, you know, get some things that makes it easier on myself, especially when you're traveling by yourself. If, if my wife can't make it with me and I just want to go out for a couple of days, maybe three or four days and... I want to be able to lower those jacks by a simple push of a button, by cranking them down, uh, those sort of things, get a backup camera on the rig and that sort of thing. So it's very comfortable and easy for me to do. I haven't backed up a rig in a long time, so I'm going to do my practice runs here uh, for about a month in and out of the uh, storage area. they got a big storage area I'm putting it at. So I've done the numbers. I know what you all said down below, and I appreciate your comments. But I've decided if I don't do it now, I got about five, six, seven years before I probably give that up. But I want to enjoy it. I want to go out and see America because I'm tired of watching the news and watching the nonsense going on. You all must be too. So I bought the rig to enjoy it. I have the ability to pay for it. I'm not going to pay cash. I don't want to use up my cash. I have the ability to pay the monthly payment upon everything else that I'm paying. Because, again, I was fortunate, and I planned for it, right, to have these things um, so I could enjoy my retirement. That's why I'm harping and I'm preaching to you sometimes that I want you all to be in this same situation that a lot of folks like myself are able to do. It's not just because of a military career and a pension. That's part of it. A lot of sacrifice. However, comma, it's how you invest your money and how aggressive you are um, to make the, how do I put this, to make the substantial sacrifice you need to, especially in today's economy and environment, have the retirement that you want to have and you're going to have to need to live comfortably. I'm just saying, I see it. Things are changing fast here. And I hope that you can keep up with it. And, you know, if you just set it and forget it, meaning your investments in a sense, if you're in TSP or whatever large 401k organization or 403b, whatever, if you're a school teacher, put as much away as you can. That's going to be the answer for you. And when you get the time, 
I recommend, that's just me. I'm recommending for myself and I did it. I got a financial advisor because I didn't ha know enough about it until I had time to study things more. But when you're working and, and you're focusing on your mission at job and so forth, you don't have the time to know all the ins and outs about what to invest in. Again, if you want somebody, uh, and I'm not doing a sales pitch. I'm just saying it works for me. The guy I got with me doing a great job. If you want some information on that person, PM me or send me something down in the comment section about a personal email for you or a, a contact or whatever the case may be, and I'll get that information to you. I think it's paramount that you all do something now for the future because it's coming. And it might not be as pretty as you think it's going to be. Save your money. Think smartly. Don't listen to all the talking heads. I know I'm one of them. I'm just giving you straight talk about my view of the world. Retirement is great. Again, if what? If you plan for it. And if you're five to ten years out, God bless you. Pick up the pace, y'all. Get a fire underneath you and get it going. Well, I'm done today. I'll get more photos out there and maybe a video of the of the new rig once I get it into the storage area. She's all cleaned up and she's getting a coat on it. I think it's pro something. It keeps all the it keeps it from fading. It's got a five year warranty in it, so I'm happy about that. It is going to be under covered storage, so you know what that means. More money a month until I can get on the base. I got my name on the on the waiting list. Um, and I'm not sure I'm going to do that right away anyway because, well, I don't want to be sweating all the time because it's going to be sitting outside. So at least now I got some shade. I'm happy with that. You all take care and God bless. This has been the Retirement Train Straight Talk coming to you from Birdie, Texas. Bye, y'all.